I recently did a talk at a camera club and I got asked the question, what is the difference between a UV filter and a polarizing filter? Now I've got to be honest with you and say that I've not actually used a UV filter since I first began photography. And the reason for this is because I didn't feel it made any difference to my images. And I've since learned that this is the case for the majority of photographers. Now back in the film days, UV filters made a big difference because they cut through a lot of the glare that is created in sunny conditions. But nowadays with the introduction of digital cameras, they've got a lot of inbuilt features, which means that UV filters aren't really that useful for digital cameras because they create the effect and get rid of a lot of the glare that these used to do in the film days. But if you are still shooting in sunny conditions, they can come in handy, and especially if you're into shooting in high altitude conditions, i.e. hiking up mountains and shooting from the summit, because there's a lot of glare up in high altitudes, and these can cut through that glare and give you slightly crisper images. So for me, I've always felt that a UV filter has never really been handy for the type of landscape photography that I do, but there is one situation where a UV filter can come in incredibly handy, and that is on days like today. As you can probably tell, it has been very windy here today. In fact, we have had gusts of up to about 50 miles an hour this afternoon. Now you may be wondering how a UV filter can help improve your photographs in weather like this. And the truth is, it can't. But what it can do is protect your lens. It can protect it from sea spray, sea salt, and of course sand getting into your lens, which in turn can potentially save you an expense in the future. You see, one of the great things about a UV filter is the fact that it doesn't really do anything, which means you can put it in front of your lens and it's not going to make any difference to your photographs. It therefore makes it a fantastic protector against the elements. all about the use of UV filters and why they're good for protecting your lens but I feel so emotional right now because I can't believe I'm on the east coast of Scotland. The colours in the sky and the sea right now resemble that on the Isle of Harris. This is Fraserburgh. This is Fraserburgh Beach on the east coast of Scotland and you literally, if I didn't tell you that, you would think I was on the west coast just now. This vast sand that I've got around me now that the tide's out and these colours in the sea I can't actually express to you how in awe I am. I've literally just spent the last half an hour watching these waves come in and watching the, the birds swoop into the water and back up into the air again. It's so beautiful and emotional and just... Words can't describe this right now. This is one of the great things about photography and about YouTube. 
I wouldn't be here right now if I wasn't shooting this video. But I'm here <laughs> and there's nowhere else I'd rather be right now because this is just so unexpected. I can't, I can't, I cannot explain the gratitude that I'm feeling right at this moment of time. This is so incredible. It's starting to get dark so I think it's time to end this video but before I say goodbye I just want to give a quick shout out to KNF Concepts who very kindly gifted me this UV filter in order to allow me to make this video. So since filming this video I've actually done a little bit more research into this specific filter itself. Now when I was filming this video I thought it's just a UV filter. What can this UV filter do that other UV filters can't? You know, really it's just there to protect your lens. But since getting home and editing this video, I've had a good look at this filter and what it can actually do and what it's actually made of. And I think the purpose of this video is to show you that UV filters are really handy in protecting your lens. And what's so good about this filter specifically is it's got a nanometer coating on it which makes it water resistant, oil resistant as well as scratch resistant. Which I think is very good because when I initially started photography and I was using UV filters not only did I notice that they weren't making any if much difference to my images, I also scratched them very easily. So actually investing in a UV filter that's got some sort of coating on it that can and prevent scratches it's going to make it more versatile and last longer and the other thing I really like about this filter is the fact that it's made of tempered glass so if you drop it doesn't break nor is there a single scratch on it either which I think is pretty pretty good that is what you want from a UV filter you want it for protection so you want one that's going to be versatile and I just dropped this on a concrete slab and it hasn't come away as you can see with any marks, scratches or breaks. One thing I want to do this year on my channel is to try and make photography easier for you. To find you products that are going to help with your photography work, that are going to make things easier, that are going to protect your gear, that are going to just make the process of photography more enjoyable. And protecting your gear is a really good thing to do. And it's something that I've definitely learned from making this video and I'm really impressed with this filter. Anyway, back to Kim in the field. So to protect your lens, this is a very reasonably cheap alternative to help you do that. And there will be a link in the description to where you can purchase this product. And for a very limited time, there's also a discount code too, if you're interested in it. I've been really silly, I think, not to protect my lenses over the past few years using something like this, especially in conditions like today, because I've done a lot of shooting in windy conditions by the sea and to get away without ruining my camera and lenses for so long like I've been incredibly lucky it is very important so it's there if you're interested and thank you very much KNF Concepts as always I want to say a huge thank you for watching I've genuinely although I had this purpose today of creating this UV filter video I just getting out today and creating it and being out in the conditions was incredible I was not expecting to feel like I'd been transported to the Outer Hebrides, even though I'm on the East Coast and the mainland of Scotland. The conditions this afternoon were exceptional. I really should have had my full camera gear with me and I should have taken some proper images, but that's the way things go sometimes and you've just got to embrace it. It was phenomenal. This is what photography and videography, vlogging can do for you. It gets you outdoors and to see wonderful, natural spectacles like I saw today which was just incredible. I'm really excited to see where my next video is going to take me. In fact, we have had gusts of up to 50 miles an hour this afternoon and these stormy clouds and skies behind me, they're just incredible. But the thing is, when you're out shooting in conditions like this, it can be very windy. It has been very windy here today. In fact, we have had gusts of up to about. You see, 
One of the great things about a UV fit. You see, one of the great things about a UV filter is the fact that it doesn't really do anything.